Hi everyone. So I'm really excited today to talk about a simple but incredibly important topic related to making change. So oftentimes we realize that we have, are marching along a course that isn't actually well suited for where we want to end up, right? This happens in our own lives when we realize, you know, gosh, I, um, I set myself on a career path that um, requires a 70 hour a week commitment and that doesn't align with actually the way I want to live my life, right? Or maybe we identify we're in a company where um, we realize, okay, I've got this department that I need to run that has been focused exclusively on efficiency for the last five years or 10 years. And as a result of that, we haven't really give any attention, given any attention to customer service and the customer experience. And we wanna re-engineer the way people focus on their work to better balance those two priorities. Or it can even be in our personal lives, you know? We've ended up on a track where in our relationships, we're focused on, um, on uh, getting things done rather than really slowing down and connecting with each other. And so we realize all of a sudden we're on this path. It doesn't align with sort of the end goal, the life that we really want to create. And now we need to make a change, right? And so, um, it can be very tempting to start to make what I would kind of call kind of gross changes, right? Like gross motor skills. Like, you know, um, we need to start uh, having deep conversations or we need to dramatically change the scorecard for the department so that it focuses more on customer experience or um, we need to... Uh, we need to, I need to change careers completely, right? I can't, I can't be an attorney anymore. I have to, I have to become a school teacher. You know, we, we get these ideas in our head of what would the right path look like? And we try to jump all the way to those macro big changes to get ourselves onto a path that we really, we really long for. But in fact, the best way to make change when we found ourselves in that situation is to make that change one degree at a time. And um, I can think of a lot of really great metaphors for this, but um, you know, uh, if, if I dust off the cobwebs of my, uh, my high school math experience, right? And I remember you know, in geometry when we start to work with these protractors, right? The semicircles, that help us measure the degrees of a circle. And at the middle point where the degrees begin, all the degrees are very close together. They look almost, they're, they're all actually at the same point, right? Each change is just ever so subtle. But when you expand out where each of those points lead, they lead to dramatically different destinations. And so the small steps we take on a daily basis are often um, very closely related in, but they can end up they can end up taking us in totally different directions. And so that same idea applies to making one degree changes in our workplaces, in our professional lives, in our relationships. And so rather than thinking about well what would my life look like when it was uh, it, it is in this new destination and how do i start to make my life look like that it's better to think about well what would be a one degree adjustment that over time would get me heading in a totally different direction so so that's the first thing i'll say about it the other thing about one degree changes and why i think it is incredibly important to make those micro changes as the main strategy you have for setting a new course is that um, we can adjust to one degree changes, right? Just like that old story about if you put a frog in a pot of cold water and you turn on the temperature so that it slowly increases to boiling, the frog will stay in the pot of water, you know, ultimately to its demise. But if instead you drop a frog in a pot of boiling water, it will just immediately jump right out. 
So that's sort of a scary example of how we can adjust to discomfort one degree at a time. And in fact, that might be how we found it ourselves in this situation, right? Where we're on a path that we don't want. Um, but it also works in the positive. So if, if we start to make small adjustments, we tend to be able to adapt to those small adjustments. And as leaders, it's just as important that we are able to adjust. It's also important that other people are able to adjust. And since we're leaders and we tend to be in control of the change that's being made, it's easier for us to adjust to begin with. But the folks that are changing along with us that aren't necessarily initiating the change and, um, and they're going to, they're going to need a little bit more support in making the adjustment. So it's really helpful to make those adjustments gradual over time so that we can all adjust so that our nervous systems can adjust to the change so that, um, that our habits and all the supporting activity in our lives can adjust to the change and all of that. Right? So, um, so, so if you want change that really sticks, one degree change is where it's at. The other thing that happens sort of related to that is that when we make bigger changes, which sometimes is required of us, right? Sometimes we have to finally pull off the band-aid and really make a significant change. What often happens is we have a, um, a responding negative reaction. It's like the two steps forward, one step back kind of thing. So sometimes it feels like that big change is required and sometimes it is. And we should just know that if we take bigger changes, we're more likely to have like a backlash, right? But sometimes um, if we feel like we have to make a big change because we need the big result, we want to get there faster, it's good to reflect on and start to observe what are some of the backlash things that happen when I make a big change? What are backlash things that happen in me? I find myself uncomfortable, resistant, procrastinating, losing my energy, you know, um, whatever that means, right? Binge watching on Netflix instead of being engaged in what, you know, the, the work is or, you know, whatever the case may be, right? But also noticing the backlash reactions to the people around us? Where are we getting more resistance from others? Where are we getting more challenge? Now, I'm not saying when you make change, you can avoid resistance. You know, change is inherently going to include some resistance from yourself and some resistance from others. But we can do things that um, make that resistance a lot more manageable. And, um, and making one degree changes at a time is a really good, a really good strategy. The other thing that I think is a nice metaphor about this is the metaphor of flying a plane. So um, up in the cockpit, when you get on a transcontinental flight and you're going to fly from LA to New York, the pilot sets a course, right? And then things happen. Things happen while the plane is traveling from LA to New York. Uh, winds um, gently nudge the plane a little off that originally stated course, right? One degree at a time. But if the pilot doesn't correct those adjustments that are happening, if they don't make corrections to those nudges that take place, they could end up in Baltimore instead of New York City, right? So gradually and gently, they adjust the plane back onto its stated course. The same thing happens when we're leading our lives, our teams, our companies in a certain direction. Things nudge us off course. It's okay. And we need to be constantly thinking about what are micro changes I can make to keep us on course for where we're headed. Um, the other thing is sometimes the plane has to make a significant detour, right? Move around a big set of storms or uh, something like that. And again, you aren't in a plane that's moving in a real jerky fashion all around the country to avoid storms, right? Typically, you don't even notice that these little adjustments are occurring. And that's a real great, again, a great metaphor for how do we stay on track and make change one degree at a time. So I hope you find some inspiration in um, 
in those the imagery about making a one degree change. And I hope you feel inspired to identify an area of your life where you want to set a different course. And maybe that feels like a really big change. Um, maybe it feels sort of audacious and monumental and maybe even some days impossible, but can you find ways that just one degree, can you move your life one degree closer to the vision that you have for it? Can you move your department one degree closer to the vision that you have for it? And, um, and see what it's like, you know, over the course of a, a day, or I'm sorry, over the course of a week, Think of what kind of change you could make by just making those subtle changes one day at a time. So good luck. Keep me posted. Let me know how it's working out for you. I look forward to hearing from you.